Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for March 31st. Today's devotion is titled, Inheritance Isn't Earned. And the Bible reading is from Ephesians chapter 1, verses 3 to 14. All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ. Even before he made the world, God loved us and chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in his eyes. God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. This is what he wanted to do and it gave him great pleasure. So we praise God for the glorious grace he has poured out on us who belong to his dear son. He is so rich in kindness and grace that he purchased our freedom with the blood of his son and forgave our sins. He has showered his kindness on us along with all wisdom and understanding. God has now revealed to us his mysterious will regarding Christ which is to fulfill his own good plan. And this is the plan. At the right time, he will bring everything together under the authority of Christ. Everything in heaven and on earth. Furthermore, because we are united with Christ, we have received an inheritance from God, for he chose us in advance, and he makes everything work out according to his plan. God's purpose was that we Jews, who were the first to trust in Christ, would bring praise and glory to God. And now you Gentiles have also heard the truth, the good news that God saves you. And when you believed in Christ, he identified you as his own by giving you the Holy Spirit, whom he promised long ago. The Spirit is God's guarantee that he will give us the inheritance he promised and that he has purchased us to be his own people. He did this so we would praise and glorify him. <clears throat> Thanks for dinner, Dad, I said as I set my napkin on the restaurant table. I was home on a break from college, and after being gone for a while, it felt strange to have my parents pay for me. You're welcome, Julie, my dad replied, but you don't have to thank me for everything all the time. I know you've been off on your own, but you're still my daughter and a part of the family. I smiled. Thanks, Dad. In my family, I haven't done anything to earn my parents' love or what they do for me. <clears throat> but my dad's comment reminds me that I haven't done anything to, deser to deserve to be a part of God's family either. In the book of Ephesians, Paul tells his readers that God chose them to be holy and blameless in his sight, or to stand without blemish before him. But this is only possible through Jesus, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, in accordance with the riches of God's grace. We don't have to earn God's grace, forgiveness, or entrance into his family. We simply accept his free gift. When we turn our lives over to Jesus, we become children of God, which means we receive eternal life and have an inheritance waiting for us in heaven. Praise God for offering such a wonderful gift. In what ways do you feel or act as if you have to earn God's love? How can you practice living in the freedom of his love? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.